Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums and I want to show you a design team project I made for Country Craft Creations. I use the fabulous Spring Awakenings paper collection. This is an Easter themed paper collection and I did do a walkthrough of it so I will put a link in the description box but you also can go to countrycraftcreations.com and look at this fabulous paper. It had such beautiful vintage designs grab a sheet of some of the kind of parts because I've used some of them but you could see these designs are just gorgeous so love the chickies look at that one he's got a paintbrush and he's painting so anyhow what I made was a set of four milk cartons now I know I've done milk cartons before um, but I wanted to do different layers and make, you know, I had the sugar eggs in the back of my mind. Uh, you may have remembered them. That people used to make them like cut out and blow out an egg, cut out a hole and cover everything with sugar and make sort of a diorama inside an egg. And I wanted to do something like that. So I do have several layers. For instance, you can see here's the outside layer with flowers and then the sheep the lamb is way down there so I did do several different versions of it with different layers lots of fussy cutting lots of playing around with the flowers but it was a lot of fun to do love the little birds they're holding um, string it actually has an egg down the bottom you can see the egg so I put some eggs on the outside of this one just so it sort of repeated the theme and then this one there's a cute little chicky inside but there is an adorable bunny on the outside with some flowers and the tutorial is going to follow this and in the tutorial I show you how I made the flowers let me show you what's inside so you have an idea and I used um some seam binding for this one i didn't have any light blue seam binding so i just used on here just some um iridescent string that was in my stash but lots of glitter on there so inside so inside you can see here's the little bump out and there is still lots of room to put chocolate eggs or jelly beans or some kind of surprise for whoever's getting this. I did use some dimensional um, adhesive that I got from Country Craft Creations to pop up these. You'll see the pictures at the end of the video that show you a little more of the dimensions of these egg cartons. So let me show you how I made these so here we go right into the tutorial okay so i need a piece of artisan cardstock and craft color cut to 12 by 7 and 5 eighths i'm going to put the long side at the top and score at two and three quarters five and a half eight and a quarter and eleven that's two and three quarters five and a half eight and a quarter and eleven and then I'm going to rotate it and we're going to score at one half two and an eighth and four and seven eighths then rotate it back and score just go down to the half inch line and score at four and an eighth and nine and five eighths and that's just going to help us determine where we're going to score on the diagonal. So once we've done that, what I like to do is take the tip of my uh, bone folder or whatever you're using to score and put the, the tip of it right at the bottom and then go all the way to the next score line. As you can see on my scoreboard, I made a, a line with a Sharpie all the way down on the six inch line and I take my ruler and match it up and that way I know I will get an indentation to score. So I'm 
finding the very bottom of where the score line meets and going on a diagonal to the corner. And then I'm going to move it and do, there's two of them we need to do like that. And then I'll rotate it and get the other side. And you're basically just going from the bottom of the score line, right at where it intersects with that half inch, to the very next score line. And that's going to, of course, help the milk carton fold inwards um, on the two sides. So I have to match it up here. And those score, those uh, Sharpie lines really help me make sure I have a straight line. So there we go. I already had cut some of this, but let's go ahead and do it. I went out of turn, but let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm just simply taking my scissors. I like to use these long blade scissors for these long cuts and just going up from the bottom up to that first score line. You can cut at a slight diagonal if you wish, but um, if you cut straight on the line, then you'll be okay. So I'll go ahead and make those cuts, and then I'm gonna cut off this little tab. Then I'm gonna cut the next up at the top. Nope, cut there in the middle. Just cut up to the first score line and do it again here. Now that top part I'm going to cut off that half inch piece and this other part I'm going to just cut it in half. It just helps me um, remember where I need to uh, fold it. So now let's fold the top half inch. I'm folding that up and then I'm going to turn my paper And I'm going to score on where those diagonals are. Basically, just, just find all your fold lines and burnish on the folds. And I simply draw a circle where I know I'm going to have the cutout. So I need you to cut four pieces, two and five eighths by two and a quarter, and two pieces, two and five eighths by one and three quarters. Now one of those two and five eighths by two and a quarter, you're going to cut out a circle. The circle is just about one and three quarters, but um, whatever size circle you have, you could use a punch if you want. I'm going to go ahead and ink around the edges here also. Now I'm using just a set of circle dies and I a punch a die cut this circle off camera. I'm going to put it centering it on that one piece that's going to have my cutout. I'm going to make sure that it's going to be centered, so I guess I can take the square with the circle in it and draw a line around it, just so I know. And then I'm going to be cutting this out. I'll use an exacto, but I want to cut it out a little bit bigger than that actual hole. And then I'm going to get my art glitter glue and I'm going to adhere all the pieces, the one with the hole in it, and then the other ones that don't have the holes in it. Okay, I'm going to show you using this pink paper how to cut and score for the inside. So you'll need a piece six and three eighths, six by three eighths. So put it with the long side at the top. Well, here, let me show you. So it's going to be this piece that goes inside. And if you add it with some dimensional adhesive, I tacked it down on the four corners, then you get that third layer. So you have the bottom layer, that center layer, and the top layer. So what you'll need to do is score this one quarter, two and seven eighths, three and an eighth, and 
five and three quarters. Now rotate it so the short side is at the top and score at a quarter. Come on. And rotate it again so the other short side's at the top and score at a quarter. I just want to make sure we get that full one quarter inch and it's okay if it's a little short. Actually, this is going to be a little bit small so it fits inside. Now let's go ahead and uh, grab our scissors and just cut up on the score line up to that uh, first score line. And then rotate it and do the same. Cut up on the score lines. You're just going to go up a quarter of an inch. All right, and then let's fold and burnish this. But I don't want to, I want to fold and burnish it before I decorate it, and I don't want to glue it until I've uh, decorated the inside. So just fold on the score lines and get a good burnish on it. I'll get those little tabs in a second. Okay, so now right there is where you're going to put, um, see on here I took one of those images, I think that was from a cut apart, those cute little chicks, and you just need a piece that's two and a half by two and a half to go down and just glue that right down into the center. Now make sure that it's lined up uh, where you want it to show. And then you can either use a die cut or a punch. And I suggest using a die cut because it's a little bit easier. Just make sure you've got it lined up. You can put it inside your milk carton, draw a circle where you need it to be. And that way you're sure that the placement will be perfect. Sorry, it's a little out of camera range, but I'm just using my circle punch to cut a circle in it. And like I say, I suggest using a die cut unless you know that you can place it exactly where you want with your circle punch or oval or whatever you want it to be. See how close it is to the bottom, but again, that's okay. I'm just using this as illustration. Okay, again, we've put our design paper on the bottom and now we can go ahead and fold it. Now you can also at this point put whatever design you want on the front and you can also die cut it with the design paper on the front. But just to show you I'm going to put this all together. So I'm going to add glue to the very top quarter inch and a little bit to those tabs and fold it over and it's just going to be a nice, perfect, tiny, flat, little square. I'll get those tabs in a second. I'll go ahead and turn it over and put glue on the other side. I like using a wet adhesive for this. It just gives you a little room to manipulate the paper. And it's a little more forgiving than if you were to use score tape. But if that's your preference, then, then go ahead. You've probably worked with it a lot, and you can figure out how to manipulate it. So again, I'll add glue to this and fold that over. Add a little glue to those tabs. I think I have two tabs on this one. You can cut one of those off if you wish. And then we'll add glue to the third opening. And yeah, I'm going to cut one of those off in a second. But in any case, that is how you make that little box that's going to go inside the milk carton. Okay, here I'm going to show you how I made the flowers. Now I have this teeny little flower punch. I have two of them. I'm going to use that one um, at first and just use some of my scraps and cut a bunch of uh, flower shapes out. And I put them on, this is a piece of um, fun foam, 
and I need to grab my little spritz bottle of water and spray them to get them not soaking wet but just a little wet. I actually put them on this uh, I have some paper pads that are plastic and I'm just going to put it on there. There's my spritz bottle of water probably have too much water but it's real dry where I am and it'll dry in no time. I'm turning them over to get them wet and then put them on that little piece of fun foam. And then I'm going to grab my stylus and what I'm using is this is a bone folder from Dress My Craft. It's from Country Craft Creations. Now I did cut it down a little and I used um, a fingernail file just to get the tip the way I wanted. So it's a rounded tip. And I just push down on that little flower and then I turn it over and I just go around in a circle and you find that it will sort of cup and make just a little flower. Now this one I'm going to take and grab my scissors and cut those petals in towards the center just uh, maybe an eighth of an inch, not very much at all. And it's still moist, but if it ever dries, then just go ahead and grab your spritz bottle and just mist it a little. So I'm just pushing it down to cup the petals. Then I'll turn it over and I push down and it's made a cute little flower. And then once this dries, they get um, somewhat stiff and it will retain its shape. So that is how I make these flowers using the little punch. Okay, here I show you how I decorate one of the boxes. So I'm fussy cutting this spring lamb. I'm just doing my best to get around all of the edges. It's not perfect. When I'm done, I grab a um, alcohol ink marker and just go around some of the edges and that sort of helps if I did not get a perfect cut. Now I grab some dimensional tape that I got from Country Craft Creations and I put some dimensional tape on the fussy cut lamb and put it right on top of the other one. Then I go ahead and adhere this square to the back of that little insert. Now, of course, it's I have this it cut the other way, the circle's on the other side, but that's no big deal. So add some glue and center the lamb on that paper. So when we pull over that other flap, he'll be front and center. There we go. Pretty cute. Now, I also had die cut a circle. It's a stitch circle, and I'm going to put a, that on the outside. I decided to take an alcohol marker and go around the edge so the um, craft doesn't show. Yeah, I'm a little messy, but that's okay. But ultimately, I find it really doesn't matter because I cut the circle a little bigger than what I need for that, um, that die cut circle. And also you may notice that the the box that I'm using, this little square, is half an inch instead of a quarter of an inch. I did the half an inch first and then realized you're taking up more space in the milk carton and that means you can get less jelly beans. So you'll notice the measurements were for a quarter of an inch. So once that box is made and all glued together, I'm taking a little bit of the some of the embellishments. I fussy cut some more from the paper. In this case, those were the, I think they're morning glory flowers, and just put them just on the outside. Now, you'll only see a very little bit peeking over, but I just liked adding, um, it just shows you that there's a layer. It just adds a little more so you see that there's an extra layer. Now I go ahead and put glue around the outside of the circle. Probably should have done that first, but I'll show you why I'm adding glue. 
this is when I go ahead and get out my glitter. Now there's a couple of glitters on the Country Craft Creation website and I will link what is available in the description box below. It's just a white, it's sort of a coarse glitter. You could use a finer glitter and it would be just as good. So I probably should have done the glitter before I put the box together because you see it's stuck inside the box, but you know what? It's no big deal. All right, let me show you the next step. I'm going to take another circle of a different color and put this on the outside of the milk carton. I just didn't want to do blue on blue on blue. I just figured a different color would make it pop. This is just a scrap from another piece in the collection. And I'm taking some of the flowers that I made and trying to decide where they're going to go. And now that I figured it out, I'm going to take the flowers. I know they're really small. Add some art glitter glue to the inside of the flowers. And I have in my stash some um, little yellow diamonds. I don't know, not diamonds, but if you have prills, which are available at Country Craft Creation, those are perfect. So grab the prills and add them to the center. Here I have a larger diamond. It's not a diamond, it's a, it's a gem. And I'm using an alcohol marker to color it yellow. I grab a stamp block and put on some um, art glitter glue, spritz a little bit of water, take an old paintbrush and mix it together. I just want it watered down a little bit. By the end of this process, I'm not watering it down. I just go with it. And I'm adding some glue and putting that. Sorry, I'm out of camera range, but you'll see where it is in a second. But I'm going to put that down first and then add some watered down glue to it. Aren't those beautiful flowers? All right, so I'm taking the flowers I made, trying to figure out which is the best way. I have a pair of tweezers and I put some of that watered down art glitter glue and dip it right into the glitter. Then I'm going to add a couple of drops of the glitter glue where I'm going to put the flowers and just place it right where I want them to be. Sorry, I'm out of the camera range for a little bit, but all I'm doing is taking the flower and putting it on the tweezer. They're so small. Now you can buy already made flowers from Country Craft Creations and that makes the process of decorating this go so much faster. But I am not in a place where I can get mail. You may or may not know that I live and craft and travel in my RV and we are on the move so it wouldn't, it wouldn't find me. The mail would not find me so I decide just to make the flowers you know, sometimes mother necessity is the mother of invention. Is that how the phrase goes? So it looks much milkier, much more white than it will once that glue dries. I am not necessarily fond of glitter, so I don't like to touch it if I can help it. That comes from years of working in a craft store, but by the end of this process, I have embraced the glitter. And it really does add such a nice touch to these little boxes. If you were to make these flowers and put them on cards or mini albums, you'd be happy with them. Very easy to do. And as a matter of fact, you don't really even need that blossom shaped punch. You could just take uh, a piece of scrap paper and just sort of cut a loose blossom and then 
once you scrunch it up, it's going to look like a flower. This one I'm pushing together a little bit more. Now I'll hold it with the tweezers thing. And I'm adding these flowers. Trying to get an odd number. So this one's just going to be sticking out from the other ones. And I'll probably add one more. And then the flower portion of this is done. All right, so I'm finishing up with the flowers. I also put a couple at the top just to balance it out. You don't need to, but I just wanted just to put just a couple. And then I'll add some glue to the, just to add some detail and take my teeny little spoon and put glitter on it and then take my little little box. You see I put some dimensional adhesive so it sticks out some and I put that in the box. Okay, I'm going to decorate another one. So this one I'm using, one of the cut aparts has these ovals in it so I just used an exacto knife and cut out the center of the oval. It's got sort of a pussy willow look around the outside of it. So as you saw I drew the oval on the paper and I'm using an exacto to cut this out. This is the quarter inch little box that's going to go inside the milk carton. I use some distress oxide around this and don't forget there is the two small pieces that are okay I'm going to show you real quick how I put this other one together so I cut out the center and held that in place, drew a pencil line around it, made sure that it was good. I decided to make a line around that so it's a little more outside of it, just so you don't see any edge. It's just a little bigger than the original oval that I drew. Okay, now that's good. I will go ahead and glue that down. And so you see a little bit on the back side. And then go ahead and glue down the other pieces of blue just to finish that up. It's much easier gluing it down before you fold it, but if you forget and you fold it first, no big deal. And don't forget to cut a little teeny piece for the very top. Um, that's about half inch, so cut it a little bit smaller than half inch by its two and three quarters, so about two and five eighths. Now, on the inside, I took another one of these, um, that oval with the pussy wool around it, cut it in half, just so they're a little closer together, so there's an extra layer. It, it, they're not exactly stacked on top of each other. And then I have these eggs and these flowers, and I add them to the outside of that oval. Now again, this is going to be the second layer, so you're not going to see a lot of it. There's this piece that was a cut apart. Of course, it's not perfectly square, but you still can see it once you put the top on or once you close that all up. So now I'm going to close it up, add glue, and make that into a little box. And then I will put that box into the milk carton using some dimensional adhesive so there is some space between the layers. In this case, I put it in the milk carton and then put the milk carton together, but it's easier to do it the other way. Make the milk carton and then put it in. I'm just making sure it's centered on here. And then I glue the edge and just fold it all and put it together. I mean, these milk cartons are easy to do once, you, once you've done one. And I'm just putting
putting on the final touches, I add that little sliver of paper. I grab my hole punch and make holes through all four layers, um, adding some extra dimension to some of the decorations. I mean, this is where you can have fun. So go ahead and grab this paper pad, which again was Spring Awakenings from Country Craft Creations and all the goodies that go with it and see what you can do to make these egg cartons for Easter. Okay, and here I'm going to put on some music and let you watch the rest of me decorating this. And also you will see close-ups if you need to take a screenshot or um, just write down what the time is so you can take a look at these with a little more detail to it. supplies can be purchased at countrycraftcreations.com. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can go right to finding the paper, the artisan cardstock, the glue, and the seam binding, and everything else I used to make this fabulous project. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.